All right, guys, I'm in Eagle's Landing. I was able to stop by to give you a quick tour of this property at 97 Eagle's Landing. It looks like the house is pretty close to the street, but it's a really super nice neighborhood. All the neighboring houses are pretty equal in value. Uh, most are over a million. Uh, we're kind of towards the peak of this mountain, hill, whatever you want to call it. Looks like this property has a four car plus RV garage. It's got a nice grand entrance and it's right on the cliff. Let's take a look at this garage. This has a two car plus one car base. So you've got the three car garage on this side and the RV garage that just goes forever. Looks like the next door neighbor is uh, blasting some workout videos. <laughs> okay, let's take a look inside and see if there's a house attached to this garage. I apologize for the lighting. Uh, none of the lights are on. I don't think that the utilities are on yet. There's a little powder bath right off the front entry. And take a look at these views. This flooring feels really nice too. It's um, some form of a wood ceramic tile. It has some gloss to it. I don't know if you can see these views, but pretty much all of the entire city of Washington is right on display. There's a big grand fireplace. It's a good size living room. Kitchen looks, it's an okay size. None of the countertops are in yet, so we may be able to customize them depending on what the builder had picked out. The island is going to be a pretty decent size. Look at these views. There's a pretty good sized pantry that also doesn't have any lights in it yet. Let's take a walk across the house and check out all the bedrooms. So this is the front entrance. It's nice tall, tall ceilings, really tall doors. The front office has um, tile that resembles hardwood and it also has really tall ceilings the views from the office are not not bad and then you have the master it's just yeah, let's explore the master first. So the master bed is a pretty good size. They took um, a large portion of the master bed and used it for the master closet and master bath, but master has some nice sliding doors, some really pretty views. And the master bath has his and her side with a tub, it's an interesting looking tub. Really good sized shower. And the laundry room enters right into the master bath. There's a separate toilet room and the master closet. It's a pretty good size as well. The master closet actually has some pretty cool views. There's nobody beyond this lot. It actually drops by like 30 or 40 feet. And 
And we'll go through the laundry room. I'll show you the other bedroom. So this hallway takes us to the front bedroom. Looks like the front bedroom will have um, maybe like a little dinette or room for a little fridge. It's a good size closet. And its own bathroom. Super dark in here. Just one more bedroom. Sorry, this bedroom is not super huge, but it's a pretty okay size. Has its own closet and its own bathroom as well. I think the best part of this house is the backyard and the views. The backyard is not Ridiculously big, but we'll probably have enough room for a hot tub maybe back here, a little bit of grass, and you might be able to put in a pool in this area. It wouldn't be a super large pool, but take a look at these views. pretty private it's above everybody so nobody's looking down and there may be a house that's gonna go up here as well sorry about the quality uh, my iPhone was the only thing that was at my disposal as I was driving by. And this just drops. It's probably a good, like, I don't know, maybe a 40 foot fall all the way down. And you could just see forever. Let me know what you guys think, if you have any questions or if you'd like me to find out anything else about this property. Thanks.